welcome back to my channel today we're going to make dal gosh so i have here one medium onion cut into small pieces two red chili three bay leaves or tej pata one cinnamon stick three cardamom three peppercorn black peppercorn one star anise and four cloves I also have a few pieces of mutton here you can use how much your quantity you want when you increase the quantity of the mutton increase the quantity of onion and spices I also have here washed masoor dal which I'm going to use it's a red dal it's easily available in the Indian grocery store so we're going to use that so let's start the process let's start making dal gosh so I have a pressure cooker here I'm going to add in two tablespoons of oil to that we are going to add in the garam masalas star anise cinnamon bay leaves cardamom peppercorn and Love dried chili. Let's roast this for half a minute. Let's increase the heat to medium. We're reducing the heat and we're going to add in a teaspoon of ginger paste. I didn't have fresh ginger, so I'm just using store-bought ginger paste. And also a teaspoon of garlic paste. Let's cook this for 3 minutes on low flame. Let's add in the mutton pieces. We need to add 3 kokum, dry kokum. This is also called dry jungle palm. To this we are going to add in a teaspoon of turmeric a teaspoon of paprika a teaspoon of curry powder a teaspoon of venom powder half a teaspoon of cumin powder half a teaspoon of garam masala mix it evenly we are going to cook this for a minute. Let's add in the lentil or dal. Mix it well. To this we are going to add two cups of water. Increase the heat to medium. We are going to cover and cook this for five whistles. I have actually searched up the gas and uh, the cooker has cooled down. So let's mix this dal evenly now. If you just like it in semi gravy, you can just leave it like this. But I want it with a little more gravy, so I have to yeah, switch off the gas. 
I'm going to add half a cup of warm water and we'll just give it a boil and we'll, we should be done. I'm adding here some water. This is warm water. Mix it evenly. So the consistency basically depends on you. The taste won't change. The only thing which might change is the salt level. So you can just taste the salt and then add it accordingly. So let's bring it to a boil and we should be done. Looks like the water has come to a boil. Please relish this with uh, chapati or rice or any side bread. Thank you for watching my video. Please like, comment and subscribe.